Section 36 of Talks by Abdul Baha given in Paris by Abdul Baha Abbas. Translated by Lady Sara Louisa Blomfield. This is a LibriVox recording. All LibriVox recordings are in the public domain. For more information or to volunteer, please visit LibriVox.org. Recording by Nicholas James Bridgewater. Talks by Abdul Baha given in Paris by Abdul Baha Abbas. Section 36. 97 Cadogan Gardens, London, December 26th, 1912. Prayer. Should prayer take the form of action? Abdul Baha. Yes. In the Baha'i cause, arts, sciences, and all crafts are counted as worship. The man who makes a piece of note paper to the best of his ability, conscientiously concentrating all his forces on perfecting it, is giving praise to God. Briefly, all effort and exertion put forth by man from the fullness of his heart is worship. If it is prompted, by the highest motives and the will to do service to humanity. This is worship, to serve mankind and to minister to the needs of the people. Service is prayer. A physician ministering to the sick, gently, tenderly, free from prejudice and believing in the solidarity of the human race, he is giving praise. What is the purpose of our lives? Abdul Baha. To acquire virtues. We come from the earth. Why were we transferred from the mineral to the vegetable kingdom, from the plant to the animal kingdom? So that we may attain perfection in each of these kingdoms, that we may possess the best qualities of the mineral that we may acquire the power of growing as in the plant, that we may be adorned with the instincts of the animal and possess the faculties of sight, hearing, smell, touch and taste, until from the animal kingdom we step into the world of humanity and are gifted with reason, the power of invention and the forces of the spirit. Evil. What is evil? Abdul Baha. Evil is imperfection. Sin is the state of man in the world of the baser nature. For in nature exist defects such as injustice, tyranny, hatred, hostility, strife. These are characteristics of the lower plane of nature. These are the sins of the world, the fruits of the tree from which Adam did eat. Through education, we must free ourselves from these imperfections. The prophets of God have been sent, the holy books have been written, so that man may be made free. Just as he is born into this world of imperfection from the womb of his earthly mother, so is he born into the world of spirit through divine education. When a man is born into the world of phenomena, he finds the universe. When he is born from this world to the world of the spirit, he finds the kingdom. The Progress of the Soul Does the soul progress more through sorrow or through joy in this world? Abdul Baha the mind and spirit of man advance when he is tried by suffering. The more the ground is ploughed, the better the seed will grow, the better the harvest will be. Just as the plough furrows the earth deeply, purifying it of weeds and thistles, so suffering and tribulation free man from the petty affairs of this worldly life until he arrives at a state of complete detachment. His attitude in this world will be that of divine happiness. 
man is so to speak unripe the heat of the fire of suffering will mature him look back to the times past and you will find that the greatest men have suffered most he who through suffering has attained development should he fear happiness abdul baha through suffering he will attain to an eternal happiness which nothing can take from him the apostles of christ suffered they attained eternal happiness then it is impossible to attain happiness without suffering abdul baha to attain eternal happiness one must suffer he who has reached the state of self-sacrifice has true joy temporal joy will vanish can a departed soul converse with someone still on earth abdul baha a conversation can be held but not as our conversation there is no doubt that the forces of the higher worlds interplay with the forces of this plane the heart of man is open to inspiration this is spiritual communication as in a dream one talks with a friend while the mouth is silent so is it in the conversation of the spirit a man may converse with the ego without him saying may i do this would it be advisable for me to do this work such as this is conversation with the higher self end of section 36